This is Hector. He is my African pygmy hedgehog. Now, as you can imagine, hedgehogs like to eat a lot of food, which is his favorite food. We have compromised a championship chart. Hector will be determining the champions. Let's get straight into it. If you are concerned about seeing live bugs, you're not going to, I made sure to kill them all. Before we start, type your prediction on who, who's gonna be the ultimate snack in the comments so we know who you thought, and then we can see if you're correct or completely wrong. My personal prediction is probably gonna be the, it's gotta be mealworms. Hedgehogs do love their, their mealworms. So for our first round, we have dubia roaches versus brown crickets. There we go, Mr. Hog. Here is your romantic candle. Obviously, I can't give him a, a real candle um, as I don't want him to harness the power. And oh, what is it? He's dived straight into the... Whoa, whoa, he's going straight into the Dubia Roaches. Ham, ham, smashing them right out, as you can possibly hear. Got some nice crunch action going on there, and he's gone straight to them. Is it just a fluke as they were closest? Let's switch it around. But brown crickets here, Dubia's here. He's sniffing, he's sniffing. Oh, no, he's gone... Oh, no, he's going, <laughs> he's going straight for the crickets this time. Okay, let's take them both away and see. Oh, no, he is definitely after those more. So I'm just going to put the single brown cricket and the locust, uh, the dubia roach here to see who he goes for. And there we go, straight for the dubia. No, let's chalk that up as a dubia win. In the first round, we have Dubia going sh into the second round nicely. Beautiful. So Dubia has now gone into the second round. Let's see who we have next. Now we have Kelsey worms versus wax worms. We've got health versus unhealthy. So here we go. Here you go, Hector. You want mealworms or Kelsey worms? Oh, giving both it all. Oh, doesn't seem too keen with those ones as much. Still crunching away at them. They are the healthier option. Might be a health buff, we never know. See, this is interesting. He, he went for the dubias and crickets originally, but now he's gone for the calci worms and hasn't stopped. Look, there's mealworms here. Do they interest you anymore? Maybe, maybe. Look at that, sweet. So now if I take both away, We've got one mealworm, one calci worm. Which way are you going? Which way are you gonna go, Hector? Give us our winner, give us our winner. Here we go, and, oh, it's gonna be, oh, decisions are gonna be made here. No, instead, he's so excited, he is uh, signed up to, to hump. Okay. I think we're going to call that one a calci worm win. So let's update that to calci worm. So we've updated the board now. So calcium worm and the doobie roaches are our first winners. Round three, we now have the wax worm against the locust. The wax worm, considerably more juicy, fatty, in comparison to say the locust, which is a much bigger, heartier meal. So let's place the locust. The wax worm. Most importantly, our contestant. Off you go. Who do you go for? Giving it a good sniff and it's straight for the locust this time. Pleasantly surprised. A much bigger sort of crunchier meal in comparison to the much more sort of fatty and uh, juicy wax worm. I'm surprised. He's a healthy boy. He's going to be chewing on that for quite a while. Can I have it back? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So we're talking that one, hands down, straight up for a locust win, which I'm pleasantly surprised about, but also thankful because waxworms are considerably more unhealthy than everything, everything else, to be fair. Absolutely everything. So now we'll introduce the fourth round, which will be super interesting because it's biscuits, which is what he has his every day. It's his staple. And also black crickets, which are considerably chunkier and more meaty, but a bit more crunchy than brown crickets. So it'll be interesting. We should now introduce the contestant. 
There we go. And he's gone straight for the candle this time. Let's move these more across. Here you go. Which ones are you going to go for? The candle isn't edible. See, I told you, I guarantee you, he's planning. He's planning. He wants to, be, he wants to learn fire to uh, burn the house down when I'm asleep. Uh, here we go. And it's, he can smell. He, I think he can smell his biscuits. And, oh. 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 That is not what I was expecting at all. He's going absolutely ham on those uh, on those black crickets. Uh, I'm I'm chalking that as a straight straight black cricket win. So black cricket progresses. So after those four intense rounds, we're now down to the following. We've got Dubia versus Kelsey Worms, followed by Locust versus Black Cricket. Hairfish. Gladiator. Ready. Now, who are we going to go for? We get into those penultimate rounds. Who's it going to be? And is it going to be Kelsey Worm? Another, is it going to be another win for Kelsey Worm? Or is he turning his nose up at, can he smell the doobie roots? Is he going to go for doobie roots? No, no, we're not having much action going on here. He's thinking, he's definitely thinking. And is it going to be Kelsey? No. No, he's, he's definitely thinking hard about this one. Or is he just a bit full? He might, he might be full. He's, he had biscuits just before I went and got him. So let's remove the plates and see if that helps him with his decision. Can I have this please? Thank you. The Dubia here and the Kelsey Worm here. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Oh, and, oh, maybe he likes the movement. He's, he's gone. And it's gone. We have our fifth round winner, the Dubia Roach. Dubia goes on to the finale. Ignore that horrendous writing. Now we really are at the nail biting part of this championships, the, the hedgehog snack championships of 2020. Been an awful year, so it doesn't get much better than this nail biting content. <laughs> we have the locust versus the black cricket. It's an interesting one, solely because they're both meaty, chunky meals. So let's see what our uh, Gladiator thinks of it. Enter Gladiator. So, straight off the bat, he's getting a nice, nice whiff of that locust, but he is turning his head now to the black cricket. Which will it be? Which will it be? Who's it gonna be? Go on, Hector, make a decision. He's thinking hard about this. His life has depended on it. I mean, he, he's, he's eaten so much over this, this past year. Um, in fact, he might even be having a nap solely because it's just so intense for him. In fact, let's do what we did last time. Take the plates away. Hector, the choice is yours. Who will be going into our final? Come on, Hector. And he's awake. He's going for it. He's, is he going to go for the locust? I think he's, he's chasing it. He's thinking about it. He might be going for it. This is no, no, no. He's, he's licking his lip. He's taking another look at the cricket. <gasps> And there we have it. The black cricket will be going to the final. So we're gonna quickly update our board. So we now know we have the black cricket versus the dubia roach. This is what it's all boiled down to. Well, that's how excited I am. I slammed my pen down. Who is ready? Both very hearty meals, which I'm not surprised at, but I am surprised that the biscuits didn't didn't make it in there. Our gladiator is ready, so we're gonna throw the contestant straight in there and finally see which is the best live hedgehog snack in the world. Gladiator pick. And no hesitation. Straight for the very meaty black cricket. Given the given the uh, given the dubia roach a good sniff. Is he gonna go for that too? No, no, the black cricket. There we go, there we have it. Easy, simple, we have ch -ch 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 -ch. Black Cricket as our winner. Gladiator, is there anything you wanna say? In fact, let's, let's lapel mic you up. Anything to say? Can't get any, any more concise than that. And there we have it, Black Cricket is the winner. Who would have thought it? The ugly, bulky, fat Black Cricket which I wouldn't usually use as a feeder. I, I purely got them because of this video. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Hector 
definitely enjoyed that. In fact, he's he's nodding off now. If you want to see me do that with Audrey the Bearded Dragon or maybe the Leopard Gecko, although that might be harder because she loves everything. Um, but yeah, welcome back to YouTube, Joe. Hit like if you liked the video. If you didn't like the video, don't hit like. If you want to see more, click subscribe. That's it from me and Hector. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.